it, g- God damn it. Like, they say, like, you're doing this for money. Dude, I used to be fucking rich, you fucking moron. I sold my house. To be able to get Atheist Republic going. I sold my fucking car. I left my career in the finance industry to be able to focus full time. I used to have half a million fucking dollars in my account sitting cash. I spent all of that on paying our crew to keep Atheist Republic going. I was hoping at some point I don't have to get keep paying out of pocket so I, we get enough support. And I kept paying and paying and paying until I had nothing left. And I thought like, and we had to go let our editors go. We had to let uh, our social media people go because I couldn't pay them anymore because I was paying them all out of pocket. I kept, I had to keep, and then I was like, okay, we have to let this go. We have to let this go. Our, our you know, um, we our Atheist Republic voicemails got stopped. Our support for people like we had, um, because the people who were, we had on staff that were supporting people uh, psychologically when they were being abused by other people, we had to stop that. You, we had a support group that we had to stop that. And I was like, okay, I have, I, I, how much, how much more out of pocket I can pay until we keep cutting more things out of Atheist Republic? And you guess, you know why? Now all of a sudden, I feel like, oh my god, for the first time, for the first time. Now we are at a situation that it seemed like I could keep Atheist Republic going without paying out of pocket because I have nothing left. I have all my savings, my, the house that I owned, the car that I owned, everything, everything I owned, I gave away so I could fund Atheist Republic. You fucking piece of shit. You think I'm doing this for money? Fucking piece of shit, these fucking pieces of assholes. And and now thank but hey, no, actually thank you. Actually thank you. Because for the first time I think we could now we could keep Atheist Republic going because of you fucking morons, okay? So actually thank you. Thank you for all of this butter. And thank you to Hindu Historian for the one dollar Canadian, right? But guys, we had we used to have at Atheist Republic, we used to have a lot more services. We're gonna bring that back. We're going to bring back, like, we have so many voicemails from our, we had, like, our mission at Aces Republic was mostly to give a louder voice. Like, we don't even say to people that um, we do, like, uh, human rights related stuff, but we haven't figured out a formula that works. The main mission that we tell people that we have is to give ACES around the world a louder voice. And number one way we did that was with ACES Republic voicemails. And we have a lot of voicemails in our backlog that we haven't released yet because we had we had to let one of our main people go. She mm-hmm. was like so good and she did so much work and she had so much time, but we couldn't afford her anymore and we had to let her go. But now I think we could get back to releasing because again, Ace guys, look forward to that. We're gonna the Aces Republic voicemails are coming back, okay? Because of our patronage money and everything that you guys, because of the new patrons that we're getting, Aces Republic voicemail is coming back. And I'm hoping, but the that, the whole support group that we had for people in Islamic countries, that that shit is really expensive. So I don't know when we can bring that back, but the voicemail is gonna come back for sure, okay? <laughs> 